Hello, good morning. It's uh, Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the trading session Tuesday, the 31st of July 2018. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal Signals and market updates from leading providers at www.tradesignal.com. You can certainly download the app at the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's try and decipher this uh, market and let's see exactly which way it wants to or is attempting to trade at present. And let's see which way it's going as well. Okay, so in terms of the uh, market action let's break this down now overnight uh, u.s market still remain lackluster certainly under pressure as well we did get a comment in regards to uh, potential 100 billion dollar tax cuts for the rich uh, towards the end of the u.s session that certainly did help segment slightly but whether or not that's going to sustain that uh, that's a different question altogether uh, now overnight mr boj okay so boj certainly is the first central bank to be on board now the boj certainly didn't uh, come out as hawkish as everybody expected. Okay, if anything, they they came out as uh, dovish. So again, that's certainly uh, uh, something to focus on as well in terms of risk. So uh, given the fact that BOJ were expected to be hawkish, uh, that certainly wasn't the case, and they actually came out to be dovish. So that should support equities to a large extent. Mr. Bush's comments in regards to a tax cut as well should te technically support equities. Now it depends on how. A week the uh, the actual uh, tech sector will be so again all focus on the tech sector now european indices have weathered the storm to a large extent so uh, have been quite impressive with the euro stocks higher french cap trading higher as well whether or not that lasts is a different question altogether okay so the focus this morning has been on european uh, data as well so let's just uh, discuss that in terms of european data now we've got uh, uk cons uh, confidence numbers coming in weaker than expected We've got the BOE this week as well. So again, that's going to have a knock-on effect. Eurozone inflation numbers did come out slightly stronger than expected, but the GDP numbers are coming weaker. So again, that certainly is a cause for concern. German retail sales came in stronger. So again, keep an eye on that. Overnight, Chinese data certainly was on the weaker side with manufacturing and uh, PMI. Uh, Non-PMI as well, certainly on the weaker side. Like I said, UK consumer confidence certainly lower as well. Okay, German retail sales certainly were the only bright spot. So keep an eye on that. Uh, French consumer CPI data certainly came in stronger as well. Uh, French, or should I say Spanish GDP numbers certainly came in weaker, so again, that's a cause for concern. And German numbers came more or less in line. I think the main focus really will be weaker GDP numbers out of uh, Euro Eurozone. So again, uh, interpret that as, as you like, okay? Uh, and again, like I said, tech, tech concerns certainly remain reign supreme. Dow Transport certainly into a resistance. Russell certainly remains weak. Now, again, it will be... Uh, earnings as well from Apple today, so again that will dictate sentiment too. Okay, now moving on to the German DAX and so daily chart German DAX that key uh, gap fill level certainly is acting as resistance and as hells as far. Sixty minute chart certainly looking to move lower. We've got support down at twelve seven ten, then gap fill at twelve five eighty. So watch out for that zone. Previous resistance equals support equals is holding thus far. Ten minute chart as like I say you've flushed down as pivot low twelve uh, seven forty. Again, uh, don't be surprised. If we test that uh, 12710 zone, okay, so don't be surprised there at all. Okay, so that's basically where we are in terms of the the market there. Now, moving on, looking at the French CAC now, okay, so looking at the daily chart of the French CAC first and foremost, again, gap fill holding key resistance zone, certainly holding well. 60 minute chart, again, that gap fill level we've bounced. Uh, from my perspective, technically, we should be moving lower to test that 5420 support. 10 minute chart as well continues to remain lower lows and lower highs connecting your pivot high just connecting that cross again any lower high certainly is a bearish obviously uh, opportunity from my perspective okay 60 minute chart on the FTSE FTSE certainly has held strong due to the standard chart and BP earnings certainly coming in stronger than expected Thomas Cook is certainly trading up on the day as well but that key resistance at 7715 7720 certainly is holding well 10 minute chart certainly depicts that as well so certainly remain Holding that key resist. Daily chart again. You've got this potential bear flag scenario. We're holding Fib seventy five percent. Now, Mr. Trump did mention that he was willing to talk to Iran. So again, that will keep oil prices at under pressure. And therefore, the FTSE one hundred pressure under pressure as well. So keep an eye on that. Also, like I said, BOJ BOE potential uh, obviously positioning as well. Uh, a lot of front running going on there in terms of those that have inside information with regards to the BOE and uh, interest rates. Okay, so that's basically where we are from that perspective. So European equities remain weak now, given the fact that we've got weaker GDP numbers, inflation ticking higher as well. Okay, we were concerned with regards to Trump 
and its potential government shutdown. We've got concerns with regards to tech sector selling off quite viciously. Again, like I said, Apple earnings could change that. If Apple earnings are coming weaker, then we are going down quite sharply. Okay, so that's uh, our summation. Please be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs. Take advantage of that bonus and be sure to visit Trade Signal, Signals and Market Updates from leading providers. Goodbye now.